Hey, welcome back. Uh, Dr. Cuomo again with this Ankylos case. Uh, now I finally got the, uh, the gasket out of there. It came out in pieces, but that's okay. Uh, we were successful in that. Notice how that drops in nicely without any, any obstruction. What we're going to do now, we got to clean this up with a bristle brush. So I just gently remove the bridge now. It's, and now that it's a completely assembled, you still want to protect the, uh, the laser, um, uh, these laser uh, s screws, laser assembled screws. Um, so I'm going to take the same analogs. I'm going to put them in place. I'm just protecting now the uh, the threads at all costs. So I put the analogs in place and then screw them in. And I think I'm going to change my gloves. They're looking like they're ready for a change. So I'm going to do that next. Uh, again, simple, easy, gentle hands, gentle, gentle tightening. I'll use a straight attachment. Okay. And I'm going to just, um, let me get my rheostat, please. Let me just uh, start polishing. Kind of racing a little bit against the clock. My patient has to leave here for a net of medical appointment, so I'm going to move things along. I probably won't talk as much, but this is all about the cleanup. You know, you want to make sure you don't get any of the cement along the abutment because that'll work just against the patient just like anything else so make sure you have a nice clean environment and uh, just getting rid of any excess cement that you might have missed with the brush that's the eponic region okay and then once you do that There's no overextensions. Now take one of these analogs off, put it aside, just pull it back a little bit like that, and go ahead and polish a little bit more because some of it could have got caught in the rim. And that could be critical too. So see, it's just ever so small amounts. There we go. Perfect. Check it lightly with the Blunt End Explorer just to make sure. Yep, we're good. Leave that, go to the next one. Okay, and then the rest is straightforward. In the mouth, you're just going to tighten it down. Do I need to show you all that? I might show you some if I have time, but we have it covered on other videos where we do use the Teflon. I don't use Teflon. I use that GC pattern material. It's quick, fast, and easy. It saves you tons of time, and it does a great job. All right, loosen this up a hair more. There we go. Again, there might be some trapped just into that lip, so just polish that a little bit. With a Robinson brush, this is a stiff Robinson brush. Okay, we're good to go. We can get him back now. All right, this is Dr. Jerry Cuomo. I'm ready to put this, this bridge in, and I hope you uh, un pretty much understand that this is just one type of uh, technique. We're going to... We're going to introduce our patient back in. We're going to put this in the mouth, and we'll tighten these down to 15. I believe they go down to 15. We have a driver, a special driver and wrench that goes with it. And then we're going to put uh, Teflon down in there and then Paracore and check his bite. Lots to do. i got to run. Take care.